obviously a very talented team over there. How, how pleased were you with your group's ability to, to withstand their runs and, and hold them off and close them out for a victory? Yeah, definitely just, you know, glad we was able to get the win. Uh, you know, definitely felt like we deserved to win that game, just the way we played from the start to finish. Um, so, you know, they made their uh, run to cut at 11, and, you know, we just came to the huddle and told everybody to stay poised, stay aggressive, and uh, just finish the game out, and that's what we did. Paolo, for you, I asked Coach about free throws before the game, you know, beyond repetition, like how do you improve in that? And he talked about the mindset. What's your mindset when it comes to shooting free throws and, and I guess, calming down for that moment? Uh, yeah. I think it's more just, uh, you know, centering yourself when you get to the free throw line. Obviously, uh, you know, you may be tired, you may be pissed off, whatever it is. So just taking a deep breath, you know, getting back to, you know, the center and um, taking your time, knocking it down. Uh, and I think um, that's that's something I've been able to get better at and, you know, just start start making them. You know, you don't want to be a liability at the line. You might be able to convert, so. Paolo, uh, great game. Um, finished with uh, with 26. Really, like, took command there at the end of the game and, and made sure this team came out with a W after, you know, you guys have had the lead eight of nine games this season at halftime, so. Just congrats on, the, on finishing that uh, out strong. When uh, you know, the first play of the game, Giannis came at you, you picked up a foul. It uh, looked like you may, be, may have been a little bit frustrated, but that might have been their game plan to try to get you a little bit off guard. Um, you only finished with two fouls. You played defense really well. Just can you talk about what it's like going up against Giannis and you know, finishing tough tonight? Yeah. Uh, you know, that's a guy that you, uh, like you can't really stop him. You just got to make it difficult as possible. Uh, you know, felt like we did a good job on him tonight, and he had freaking 35 and missed seven free throws and only missed seven shots. So it's like, that's a great game. But, um, you know, we did a good job. So uh, that's just kind of what you want to try and do, make it hard, and, um, you know, just finish possessions when he does miss. And uh, also, you know, don't let him off the hook on the other end, you know, try and get him moving around, put him in positions uh, where we can have the advantage. Mo, how, how much continued growth did you continue to see with with your team, especially you know closing out a, out a game and, and your ability to withstand uh, runs against such a talented opponent? Yeah, I mean, uh, like you said, I think that's that's very important. I don't think it's a talent question or a mentality question or uh, ability thing for us. I think it's more like a um, yeah mindset of who we are in those last four minutes. Um, and locking in defensively, not turning it over, which we did a great job today, and not giving up threes. And then um, that's what the league is, close games. You got to win close games. We didn't do that last year. I think that's one step we got to take this year if we want to make the playoffs. And um, yeah, obviously, we focused a lot on that. And today was a step in the right direction. Magic snapped a 14-game losing streak against the Bucks tonight. Does that add like 14 games? <laughs> I think five years. Don't tell us that, man. Don't say that. Say that. <laughs> Jeez. But does a win like tonight against a team like Milwaukee, who was number one in the NBA last year in the regular season, does that add a little bit more confidence for you guys versus some of the other wins that you've had in the past? Uh, I, I think a little bit, yeah. Um, but we feel like we can get with anybody, honestly. Uh, like, you know, we dropped one in, in Mexico, and we feel like we played terrible, and we lost by one. So coming back home, you know, we knew that this was kind of, a, I wouldn't say a must win, but this was a game that we, you know, we couldn't play around. We couldn't come out flat. You know, we had to be, you know, on 100 from the jump. So that was just our mentality. Um, and uh, I think that we did that. But, you know, being a team like that, it's, it's a good feeling. But, you know, we're, we're able to, I think, compete with anybody. So, um, yeah. Three of you guys, uh, offensive rebounding tonight played a huge part. You guys had 15-team uh, offensive rebounds. What's kind of the difference between nights where maybe that number's not as high and nights like tonight where you get 15 of them? Um, I mean, you can't control everything. I think it's an effort thing. Uh, obviously, um, we, we put a lot of emphasis on, on getting those possessions, um, on trying to turn over teams and – go to the offensive class. It's also part of our transition defense because if you open the ball early, they can't just throw it ahead. Um, but sometimes people make shots more than others, and then there's less rebounds to grab too. So it's a game, you know? You can't control everything. But obviously managing those possessions with not turning it over and getting second points, second possession points is, is huge for us. 
This question's for both of you guys. The, uh, the in-season tournament starts on Tuesday in Brooklyn. As fans, really, the only thing that, it, that we see is the change of the court and the design <laughs> of the court. As players, does it, does it mean anything to you guys or just another regular season game coming up? That's a great question. Uh, no, it, ha it has some meaning, I think. Um, shoot, 500,000 is on the line. I don't know about you, but I'm going hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so I think, you know, I think you just, it's naturally, uh, the um, intensity is elevated naturally just from, I think, the court um, uniforms. Um, I'm sure the crowd is going to be more, a little more into it. And then for us, it, it being our first tournament game, you know, you've been seeing it on TV and whatnot. Uh, and so you want to be a part of it. Um, obviously, it's the first year of it in the league, so uh, you want to go after it, and so that's what we're going to do.